Hey bitches, my name is Fanta Great Bottle today. I know, it is not Halloween anymore and you already want me to start making Christmas videos. Don't worry, they're on their way. But today I wanted to show you guys my transformation into my Halloween costume this year. If you didn't see it by now, it's on Instagram and Twitter. It got a lot of responses in which none of them were positive. You really don't like that costume, but I love it. So I want to share it with you guys today. I'm going to give you a tutorial on how to turn into a straight guy. Specifically, a straight Trump supporting male. This person is known as my straight brother named Chad. Chad Chen is his name. First things first, this has got to go. It's way too homosexual. Like fake glasses. What straight guy would wear those besides eat boys? We're going to start off with the makeup portion, which is turning my eyebrows thicker, more unkempt, if you will. I'm going to give myself a mustache and some really bad sideburns. So let's just there we go. First of all, my eyebrows are very thin. <laughs> Let's just get that out of the way. Traditionally, I had that Asian guy eyebrow, which is like narrow, and then <laughs> it gets like almost down to my eyelid, which is the most annoying fucking thing. I've been waxing them since eighth grade, so they will never grow back like that. Thank God. But it's not too late to return back to it. So what I'm first doing is thickening my eyebrow with just a black shadow that you can get from anywhere. Mm -hmm. You want to get it mainly on the ends. This is too gay too. Let's move that piece of hair out. This little part where my arch is, no, you want it gone. You want it to be straight, like, we're turning straight. This is just fitting the theme. The more messy, the better. Like, you really don't want to be good with this. This is pretty good. Um, I'm also going to put some shadow, like, right around here. This shadow is meant to be blended to give us the appearance of a five o'clock shadow that's like really not good. Once that's done, just blend it out a little. Perfect. Oh my God, that is exactly what I wanted. I want to look like my father. That brush isn't cutting it, so I'm gonna take a bigger brush. Get this big fat brush and just go. Oh, I can feel my skin breaking out already. Mm. So traditionally, Asian guys can't really grow on like a full beard, so they grow it in patches. So like a lot right here, like some down here, a lot around the sides of the mustache that really just sinks in the idea that I might be a pedophile if you look a different way. Get a lot under here, around our mouths, and then some on the chin. Focus the shadow, because it, it can't look like a full beard. No, 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 no. And by the way, I'm not making fun of straight guys. I'm making fun of Trump supporters. Straight guys, I just want you to know, do not be ashamed of looking good and making your eyebrows look decent. That's not a bad thing at all. I just want an excuse to make fun of Trump. And if there's Trump supporters watching, what are you doing? Like, why are you still here? Just. Please block me by now. I don't want to be on your feet. Now that we have the foundation done of our beard, we're going to go in with either an eyeliner or if you're like me, some 0.4 millimeter pens and you're going to draw on individual strokes. Yes, you're going to draw on stroke by stroke. This really sinks in the idea that you don't wax. Like, do you see that already? You can just see those little hairs coming in. You wanna make those as dark as possible. Go like really far down below and a little bit up. Your eyebrows should exponentially grow as it gets wider. That point right there, that arc should not exist. That's gonna be really fucking hard to do for this. So wish me luck. When I first turned into Chad, it really changed how I talked, how I acted, kind of had a different posture, attitude. My voice went this low at some point. And this is how I normally talk, but if I'm really tired, I can make it low like this, which sounds terribly wrong. But if I wanted to pretend I was a heterosexual, I think I could pass it off with this costume. I think we're good on that side. Now we want to do like, <laughs> Chad doesn't have a unibrow. He has an almost unibrow. A little bit in. Next, just do the same thing to your other eyebrow. I don't know why I'm acting like you guys are actually gonna do this next year for Halloween because literally, who would want to turn into this? Like, imagine going to someone's house, trick-or-treating, and look like what I'm gonna look like. You might get the cops called on you. Sometimes if I'm doing this, I just like don't look at the mirror because I know part of me wants to make it look perfect. And my eyebrows have to be everything but perfect. A little bit in the front. Also, if you have an eyebrow brush, I would really suggest pointing them down because that helps thicken the bottom part and then you look like this mess. Oh, beautiful. We're still gonna be using this pen for a while. This is like mainly everything. Next step, you wanna draw on 
the individual hairs of your mustache. I know what this looks like, okay? I sometimes don't shave, and then I see little patches right here and here, here and here. It's the most disgusting thing I've seen on myself. So let's make it real. Yep, a little bit of background on Chad in my family. So he is biologically my brother. He's a little bit older than me by two years, I think. I don't know. I don't keep up with him too much because he lives with my cousin Frank back in Alabama. If you guys know Frank, he used to be on my channel, but he's been away for a while. If you want him back, let me know. I'll give him a call. My family is very wild. It's hard to explain. Okay, I think that's good. Extra bonus points for you if you choose to draw an individual hairs on the side like this. You want to lengthen your sideburns. Get them below your ear, by the way. That is the best look for them. Oh, you want to get a lot right here? right under the mouth that is a dangerous spot to look at because if you don't shave this part once you add this part oh my god it looks so disgusting and then your little goatee that you want to grow in okay i think i look good oh almost forgot the skin my skin is way too good looking yes i'm complimenting myself so what we're gonna do is mimic eye bags Damn. The power of makeup, guys. It can make you beautiful, but it could also really make you ugly. Oh, that looks perfect, you know? I don't really have an eyeshadow for this, but if you do, get a red shadow and just, like, give yourself some acne. Big pimple right there. Right there. Pimple on the nose. That looks good. Okay, so you've mastered... <laughs> You know how to do the face part now. The second part is the outfit. Let's get to that. You want to get the closest hoodie you can find. If it has a graphic on it, it's even better. Words make it look great. Nothing in color, usually. Unless it's Adidas, but nothing else in color. Black, gray, white are very popular choices. All right, that looks good. Yes. Yeah. Next up, we're gonna put on the hat. Try to keep it, like, as basic as possible. I live in New York, so... New York hats will be perfect for this. And for some goddamn reason, you're gonna put your hoodie over the hat because that's fashion for guys. Cinch it up a little bit. Yes, perfect. We're gonna hide the fact that I live in New York. Next, you're gonna get a pair of joggers. You can get it from Nike or Adidas, but if you really wanna get it from somewhere good, bonus points if you get it from a designer brand. Guys like designer joggers of everything. And just so you know, for your shoes, you're gonna wear white Nike socks, and then you're gonna put on either sneakers, Fila's, chunky sneakers is all I ask of you. Get them from Gucci or Louis Vuitton. You're doing it right. Okay, so this is the whole elf. Wait, my voice needs to change like three pitches down. This is not auto-tune, by the way. I can do this, actually. Your voice has to be really low and like monotone. You wanna make sure that you pull your pants down. I'm talking ass out okay there this part is like borderline i could show you my dick Ooh, hold on hold on yes this is what i'm going for Sh just shove a banana somewhere Th there you go my dick is this long actually guys it goes from here to here you want to tie it right here push up your jogger so like they're chunkier around the thighs and then when you walk around you're gonna walk around like this okay you want to just low okay arms hanging out like this head tilts it down or if you see a girl walking by Hi guys, my name is Chad Chen. Is Frederick here? Do, do, do you know where Frederick is? I don't, I don't see him right now. The fuck is this gay shit? Why does he have this? The fuck is this? Who let him buy this? Like, what? Oh, this is, oh, this is his merch? You, you would buy this shit? So yeah, this is pretty much the whole look. Oh, also. Perfect. Guys, grab, grab him by the... <laughs> Alright, I'm done. I'm I'm done. <laughs> this is the end of the tutorial. What's well, shake and bake? <laughs> I hate this. I hate this so much. Okay, I'm pulling my pants back up. This is I, I honestly for if there's a straight guy watching, why do you do that? Like, who wants to see your boxers? Let me get this banana out of the way. Cause I know no one's dick is that long. Good luck convincing people that your dick is that big. You guys know I wear high-waisted stuff every single day of my life, so having that down felt 
disturbing. I bet you were disturbed too. None of you wanted to see that. None of you asked for that, which is perfect because that's how straight guys do it too. I literally embodied the straight guy. Oh, by the way, if you put on axe, like here and here in your mouth, under your pits, that's good. Grow out your nails to like the point that they could pass off as acrylics. That's the extent of our eyebrows. I like this one more, what do you think? You notice the acne around here, right there and there. Yep, perfect. Ooh, that looks like I'm bleeding. Yeah, that's, that's it. <laughs> Happy Halloween. So I'm gonna wash this off now. If you enjoyed, give this video a like, leave a comment down below, or subscribe, because uh, I post videos every Saturday. All right, so let's read a coming out story now. As Chad Chen though. As always, you know, I read these at the end of the videos just so other people can see them and be inspired to come out as well. So when I was in fifth going into sixth grade, I realized that I was gay. And at the time, liking the same gender was weird because when my sister came out as bi to the school, people were awkward about it. So after five years of me getting nervous about it and worrying about what my parents will think, I told my mom and her exact response was, I know, I know too. Let me hit up your sister. <laughs> Okay, I'm done. Goodbye. I love you guys and everything is less than three. Oh yeah, I got piercings by the way. Pretty gay.